Hi everybody, welcome to Live with Children. We're here at SMS. It's day three and um, everyone has still got loads of energy, which is amazing. And I'm delighted to join my Chris McGillis from Shimansu because we are actually in the Shimansu Hospitality Suite here at SMS. And we're going to learn a bit more about Shimansu, but also get a tour of the whole hospitality suite and see what uh, instruments they're showcasing this week at SMS. So Christopher, first of all, good morning, how are you? Good morning, Rizwan. I'm doing very well this morning. So we had hospitality suite last night, breakfast seminar this morning, and uh, <laughs> a good day of meetings ahead. I don't know how you do, it, uh, do this for the whole week, but anyway. Um, First question for you, obviously, is how has ASMS gone so far? It's been quite busy, so we're very pleased with the show and, uh, uh, and we're happy to have things returning to normal. Brilliant. Now, for people not familiar with Shimansu and particularly the, the US uh, part of the business, can you give us a quick overview of the business? Well, in many ways, uh, we started uh, in the U.S. as an LC and a GC company, but we've been making uh, mass spectrometers for uh, 20, 30, uh, 50 years now for some of our mass spectrometers, and we've been in the LCMS market for um, uh, since 2000 when we did our first single quad, and then um, 2009 we came out with a great single quad, and then it was about 2010 or 11 that we introduced our first triple quad. So we've been making um, quadrupole mass spectrometers for quite some time and we released a QTOF several years ago and that's uh, uh, that's the uh, the the base of our product line. Brilliant. Now this week I was at the press conference yesterday you obviously made a few announcements uh, some of the products are here so um, why don't you just give me a tour of the booth and maybe we'll highlight some of the announcements as we go along. That's great. Let's walk around. We'll start over here. Sure. So this is our multiplexing system here. So we've got a, we've got a, a high-end triple quad and um, uh, basically a, uh, a very elaborate HPLC. Right. So uh, in, the, in the high throughput market, the, um, the, the consideration is that we spend so much money on the mass spectrometer that we need to keep it working all the time. Yep. And if you're only getting one peak every few minutes, that's not efficient. So, uh, so customers are willing to essentially put together two or even four HPLCs in front of a single quad, uh, triple quadruple mass spectrometer just to keep it working all the time. And that's what this system is here. So there's a, there's a lot of great features about this system. We, we wrote software specifically to drive this because you can imagine that uh, um, uh, running a system that complex uh, requires a high-level operator, and so what we wanted to do is take the, the burden off the operator, write software to, to make that happen, and, uh, and we call that our QX system. Fantastic. So what's next? All right, well, let's walk over here. So next would be our uh, IM scope. Right. Now, what this is, um, it's, I guess it's a little out of order here um, because I haven't introduced the QTOF, but the QTOF is back here. Yep. And what we've done is we've, instead of a traditional ESI source, we've, uh, we've built a MALDI source yep. with a, a five micron resolution laser and an optical microscope in here so that, so that you can actually see where that laser is hitting for, uh, uh, for imaging analysis. So the customer would, um, would, would take their tissue slice, put it in here, and then use that five micron laser to, uh, to hit exactly uh, where they want to on the tissue. And then using the optical microscope, uh, you can get a, a very, very precise co-registration so that you get a very, very good image uh, from, the, from the MALDI and the accurate mass instrument. Right. Okay. All right, next we're going to go over here. Now, this is our single quad system, uh, yep. and, and can you find it? <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, we, this, is, uh, this is our Nexera 40 series uh, HPLC system, or UHPLC system, and here's our auto sampler, right. and then we have a couple of pumps here with uh, um, uh, binary gradient set up, and this is a system controller, and this is a column oven, right. and right here is the mass spectrometer. So right. this, is, uh, this is a very small, uh, compact unit, uh, very um, 
Uh, very high performing though. When we did the miniaturization on the uh, LCMS 2050, we didn't really compromise any performance. So uh, it's got great mass range, great speed, great sensitivity, heated ESI source. It, it really is a, uh, a great single quad mass spectrometer. All right, brilliant. All right, so let's walk over this side of the room. I have to say, viewers, it's nice and quiet now, but last night it was heaving with people yeah, uh, it, all it, coming into the hospital suite. It, it, was, um, it was standing room only in here, and uh, it, it was quite busy. It was quite busy, and I think it'll be busy again tonight. So here we have another system here. This is, a, this is what we call our clinical laboratory automation module, right. which is over there. What that is is an automated sample prep, right. and, then, um, and then we have a... a HPLC system for separation, and then triple quadrupole mass spectrometer for quantitation. Right. So what this is is a uh, is an automated sample prep device. Has a carousel with about 60 positions to hold different uh, tubes or vials, and then uh, the unit will uh, will. Uh, uh, take some of the sample as an aliquot, then dispense reagents, and then do uh, various sample prep um, activities like, um, like uh, mixing or heating or filtration, and then it will deliver that to the HPLC system for separation and then quantitation on the quadrupole. All right. All right? Fantastic. Very good. Now, over here, is the... Um, is the Im information that I have the least knowledge about because right. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the quadrupole guy and the, and the QTOF guy. But over here, this is a benchtop multi. And uh, we also have an imaging system on this benchtop multi, uh, which for a very inexpensive platform is, uh, is quite a good performer. And then here we have uh, a very small uh, multi system with a digital ion trap. So we're very, we're very proud of this advanced technology. Great. All right, let's walk over here. <laughs> here is the QTOF. So right. in the in the other uh, QTOF that we were looking at, we had we had covered the QTOF with an imaging mass microscope. But here you can see the the uh, regular ESI source, and um, uh, this functions as a uh, accurate mass instrument, right. which will do um, uh, screening or it will do uh, compound identification. Uh, you can also do quantitation on this instrument. Now what's special this year about this particular yep. uh, system is that we've added another um, collision device. Right. So uh, this is what we call the oxygen attachment dissociation MSMS. So normal MSMS is done with, a, with collision induced dissociation. So we have Q1, collision cell with argon in the cell. And uh, as the ions travel through the collision cell, you get collision-induced association. Right. The fragmentation patterns are specific, generally the weaker bonds in the molecule. And what happens then is that uh, for certain researchers, people interested in perhaps lipidomics, they don't get uh, uh, certain specific fragmentation that they need to identify their molecules. So this is an alternate means of fragmentation here. So what we do is we take uh, a water source and then a microwave source. We create oxygen or hydroxyl radicals and introduce those into the collision cell and you get very specific fragmentation on the carbon-carbon double bond which helps structural uh, elucidation to be possible for lipids and um, uh, other molecules that have these carbon-carbon double bonds. And what's interesting about this um, is that we can do the CID and the OAD fragmentation uh, simultaneously. Right. In, in just a few milliseconds we can change over that because it just so happens that, um, uh, that the OAD can be left on and as long as there's voltage in the collision cell, you'll get standard CID. Right. And then you can turn that voltage off in a couple of milliseconds, 
and then you can get OAD fragmentation preferentially. And so even during a chromatographic elution with very narrow peaks, you can get uh, both OAD and CID information simultaneously. So we're very excited about this system. This is, this is soon to be released, and um, uh, we think it's going to be a great technology for uh, lipidomics researchers. Fantastic. All right. All right. So uh, let's walk over here. Um, we actually do make GCMSs as well. I mentioned at the beginning of our yeah. talk that, that we um, uh, have been making GCMS quadrupole instruments for many, many years. Now this is our, is our GCMS triple quad here. So um, this is the source. Over here is the GC2030 and uh, AOC auto sampler. And, uh, and then this very small unit is a GC triple. Right. So you've got, your, um, you've got your ionization source here, We've got some lenses right here, and then Q1, collision cell, and then Q3. Right. So all of that is, uh, is self-contained as a, as a GC triple quad. Right. All right. And uh, finally, uh, this year, we, uh, we just released, this just, uh, this just went live on, uh, uh, on our website um, just yesterday, today yep. was the 6th, right? So it just went live yesterday. This is a new software. Yep. For, uh, uh, for characterization of oligonucleotides. So uh, 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 manufacturers of oligonucleotides, one of their challenges is that during the manufacturing process, you can have a lot of, uh, of impurities. And so uh, they want to, first of all, make sure that they've made the full length product appropriately. That's a fairly easy chore because you've got good intensity and good signal. But then there are uh, a lot of different impurities that could happen on each base of the oligonucleotide. Uh, or the oligonucleotide, maybe it's supposed to be a 20-mer, maybe it only came out to be a 19-mer or an 18-mer. And so uh, this software, um, the user uh, feeds in the oligonucleotide sequence, and then um, uh, the software will uh, create a, a, a dictionary of, uh, of um, common modifications. Right. The, uh, the user will then acquire an accurate mass chromatogram using the QTOF and, uh, and then take that information that's not only MS information but MS-MS information. Uh, they'll take that data file and then calculate the results of that data file against this dictionary that's been built and the user will be able to very quickly find out which uh, impurities are present and even what the ratio of the impurity is to the full length product that they intended to create. So it's a very helpful software platform. Reporting is great. The user can visualize their structures. Um, of course you've got to have the, um, the deconvolution capabilities in there and so all that uh, uh, is very, very um, amenable to the user and very, very quick um, and very easy to use. Brilliant. Well, yeah. I, I think that's the last um, station, isn't it? That it is. Know? It is. Fantastic. So, well, thank you. Yeah. Give me that whirlwind tour yeah, of uh, the solutions that Shimaz are offering this week at ASMF. One question I will ask you, though, and maybe it's a tricky question, but obviously there's a lot of big instrument companies here this week, mm -hmm. all launching products. But to a viewer watching now, one question I'll ask you from a viewer's perspective is, why should someone work with Shimadzu rather than some of the other providers? Well, uh, you know, we have a great pedigree in terms of instrumentation and engineering, but what sets Shimadzu apart is our, is our partnership and our support. We're, we're, we're not interested in, um, uh, in just pushing one box after another because we understand that um, if you buy an instrument from us and, and you're not successful, you'll never come back as a customer. Sure. And so it's all customer relationship, customer support, and, um, uh, and it has to be that way.